What up guys? So this is gonna be definitely my top two um, tips for how to strum better. So basically you have like you have to do this in order to actually strum. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Um, in addition to the first tip, using the very thin flexible pick, which allows you to make some more mistakes as opposed to a really thick pick it doesn't give you much wiggle room um, it's very thick and unforgiving so for beginners i would definitely recommend this small thin pick or a thin thinner pick like this so i'll link that video up top if you didn't see it um, so that's my first tip second tip is is you have to angle the pick when you come up on your upstring up up strum so I don't, I, I, just, I don't know if I've really seen people talk about this a lot. So this is definitely one of the reasons why I want to make this video. Um, plus, I just know strumming is hard. Strumming is very difficult, that rhythm. And, you know, I can't tell you how many times I lost my pick in this little circle here when I was learning and even, you know, three, four, five years into it. So strumming is tough. I'm going to just kind of make that acknowledgement. Strumming is very tough and it takes some time. So this, this, what I wish I learned earlier was this trick, which is you have to angle your pick on the way up. So I'm gonna just show you. Let's say we're playing just a G chord. So, you know, if you were just naturally gonna take your pick and I'll say, you know, hey, why don't you just strum a G chord for me? You would probably just go very naturally and intuitively like this, like you, you, on the way down, your pick is already angled. I don't know if you can see that or not, but your pick is already kind of angled down because you're strumming. You, you wouldn't, if you were gonna strum, you wouldn't do like, you wouldn't angle the pick like coming at a, a vertical uh, angle of attack. You, you just naturally have it like this. So if you don't angle the pick, so on, on your way up, on the up strum, you have to angle your pick the other way coming up. So going down, if I wouldn't angle my pick this way, and I just left it like this, and I try to do a down and up strum, well obviously you can see this angle, it's, it's going into the, I guess like into the grain, into the strings which is why you lose your pick so many times in this little hole, because you don't, you, you, you aren't angling your pick that way. So on the way down, again, super, you know, if you were just gonna take the guitar and do a down strum, you know, your pick's gonna be probably, I don't know, maybe at a 45 degree angle not to get into geometry or math because that was not my strength back in the day, nor it is now, but I think that's a 45 degree angle looking at the uh, strings. So G, you strum it like that. Now, if I left my, um, my, my right hand exactly the way it is right now and I tried to do an upstrum, up strum, there's just, it ain't happening. It's, it's not possible. It's just gonna get jammed and like stuck in those strings and then you're gonna lose it in the hole. So again, what you have to do, we're at the 45 degree angle here, down strum, switch the angle. So now you're at a 45 degree angle pointing down. So here, You can see like I'm exaggerating a little bit here with my wrist but you can see my whole wrist changing angles and then you get a little bit faster different chords.
So I can't I can't say enough how important that is. Because if you don't change the angle, if you don't if you don't change, it's just gonna get jammed up and, and it's not going to strum nicely and smoothly on your way up. So I remember when I was learning, you know, it kind of feels a little robotic at first, like you're you're like you're you're thinking, okay, down, now I switch it a little bit to go up. And you you might be thinking maybe a little bit too much. Like, okay, I gotta change the angle a little bit. But just naturally, I mean, like now, I don't even think about it. I just... You'll get to the point where you just naturally, you don't even think about, okay, I need to switch my angle and I need to like angle this a little bit more it'll just you once you get going it'll just kind of naturally happen and naturally take place but if you are struggling with strumming and you can't seem to get a good like rhythm and a good you got to use a thin pick initially it's going to give you a lot more room to make a mistake and as opposed to a really thick one uh, there's just really no room for error with a thick pick. Not that I'm saying don't use a thick pick ever, but just for beginners, use a thin one. And then you just gotta, just if you're beginning, you just gotta remember when I'm going down, I have that pick angled like this. If I left it like this on my down strum and I tried to do an up strum, there's just no possible way. I would be able to, to hit it. And if I did, I would just, you know, it would get stuck in there and get like jumbled up. So I have to angle it a little bit coming up. And again, you'll see how my hand and my wrist kind of like change. So I would just do this as kind of like basic and elementary as it is. Just play around with it see how it feels because you have to change the pick angle on the way up so that has got to be my number two top two strumming tip for you guys again eventually once you get used to it you're just gonna go you're just you're not even gonna think about it and you're just gonna be going but if you're having trouble strumming definitely definitely try this and and i i think it's going to help you out a ton so as always if you have questions on this or you need help or, or anything like that leave a comment below you know i love chatting it up with you guys getting to know you in the comments um, and i think this tip is really going to help you guys out just kind of as like a little practice aid so like practice it and then just go play a song. Practice it. And then just, you know, go play a song. And just over time, it'll naturally, again, I think I probably said naturally like 20 times in this video, but it will naturally just take place. It'll just, it'll, it'll naturally, you won't even think about it. You'll just be going from chord to chord. So anyways, guys, let me know if you have questions. Let me know if that helps. I think it will. I'm out. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.